Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Can everyone hear me okay? And I've unmuted the mic so that we can chat. Um, right now, it looks like it's just, uh, there's only a couple of us in here. Test, test. Okay, good. Good morning. Um, I'm trying to see it. So if you wanted to speak, I can hear you too. Um, if you have a mic on your phone, on your computer, I should be able to hear through there. And if you want to just chat through there, that's fine too. Uh, today's orientation is going to be just a, a quick webinar. We're going to talk about um, search engine optimization, kind of just an introduction and a review. And then uh, hopefully we can also go into some more depth and, and talk about things that we can do for, for you here from event sites. Um, we hold these uh, webinars every, every Wednesday just to help folks out with their websites and, and uh, share information about what we can do for everyone. Um, uh, my name's Jose, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll wait a minute for just a couple moments just to see if somebody else shows up, and then we'll start digging in. Uh, can, is it okay if we use your site? Great, so we've got a volunteer here. So thank you. Let me go ahead and pull up in just a second here. And uh, I know we've spoken before. Which uh, which which domain are we? Uh, I know you folks have a couple of them. We could do uh, all right. So we'll do. All right, so for today, we'll be working with this website. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mount Holly Animal Clinic. Um, so what we're gonna talk about in general, just some, some really quick uh, you know, general, just some information about SEO. SEO is the, I don't wanna say it's the science, but it's a, the, the practice or the means of having the site show up higher 
on uh, on searches. So, for example, if somebody does a search um, for Peoria, Illinois, and let's say like veterinarian, everyone you can do different searches. Seeing how high you're coming up here in the organic results, not in the advertisements or anything like that. So, um, all right. So this is a this is a first page um, ranking, which is not not bad at all. This is actually you know a good thing. But let's say they wanted to go higher up here, and maybe they wanted to do higher on the maps. Um, we'll, we'll go over things we can do, and, uh, and 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 we'll talk in you know we'll start with some really broad ideas, and we'll get down to the more nitty gritty. Uh, first thing to remember is that that the SEO is actually part of two main uh, sections. One of them has to do with the things that we can put on the website. Uh, so this is called on-site SEO. This has to do with everything like uh, the pictures. As you notice, if we uh, hover over it, there's, there's this, this text that appears. All the, the, the text that appears on the website, uh, the images, um, you know, everything that talks about the, the services and, you know, all of this gets thrown into a big old word bucket. So if somebody does a search for, you know, house soiling, you know, aggression or whatever, then, uh, then you're going to go ahead and, and rank for that. So that's called on-site SEO. Uh, the, the other half of it is off-site SEO. That, that's more kind of a marketing type thing. So, um, and that has to do with things that you can do to improve your SEO that aren't on your website. So uh, the site that I'm using right now, moz.com, um, they do, uh, and I'll put this link in the chat as well. What these folks do is they, they make an aggregate score just to see how many listings you're in. In other words, you know, are you registered with Google or Facebook or uh, super pages or all these different um, search engines and directory listings. Uh, the vast majority of them, I would say, you know, 95% of them are free. You just have to go and uh, go through a verification process to ensure that you're really the business that you say that you are. And this will improve um, your, your SEO because what you're doing is you're putting in a link to your website. So having the, the, the practice be on Facebook will help. Um, this site here, the Moss site, uh, they're, they're not, uh, we don't have any official relationship with them. I just like using this tool because it shows us at a glance just how, how well a site is doing. And so, uh, and this is kind of an arbitrary score. I'll, go, I'll get more into it in a second, but this is kind of an arbitrary thing. But again, it's, it, it's just a nice overall glimpse. If we look at this, we'll see that, okay, great, we've got Mount Holly Animal Clinic here and here, but notice the discrepancy. This one has the www, this one doesn't. Also, these sites here, City Search, Factual and Insider Pages, all have a thing going toward localvets.com. So it's not pointing toward our website. So that's, there's an opportunity to change something there as well. Um, Normally what I'll do is, is we'll set up a time where we can both be on the phone together. We'll log in using a program called TeamViewer, so we're both looking at it, and uh, preferably if you're at the practice, so that way when you get the phone call for, from the robocall from the company, we can confirm that you're actually there. Here's another one, Hot Frog, uh, a different phone number. What's going on here? Uh, notice that this one has a 309 213 number and this one has 69175.20 and there's no web address. So these are opportunities. Um, it's not, you know, that it's going to just completely crush you. Obviously, when we did a search for uh, Pure Illinois Vet, we came up on the first page. But these are things that, that can help you push ahead. There's not one any, there's not any one magic bullet. There's just lots of little things that you can do to kind of push push a little bit forward, um, it's kind of like uh, you know, kind of like going to the gym. You know, you can't just do like the stair stepper and then you're done. You know, you have to kind of do a cross training. You do it, do a variety of things, eat well, get lots of sleep. You know, drink water, and 
you, you can improve your health that way. So um, this is, again, this is off-site SEO right here. Uh, and we can see that there's some room for improvement on there. And I'm going to jump into the site now uh, just to see what we can do here. So give me one second. Okay, so um, we're going to take a look at the site, the site's um, the structure itself, just to, to kind of do a checklist and see how things are going. And one of the things I like to do is to, and if you are following along and you wanted to do this, uh, this you can do this at, at, at home or the office. If you type in site colon and then your domain name, You put that into your your browser. You're going to get an uh, an idea of how Google has indexed your pages. In other words, how when, when Google goes out, they get a snapshot of all the different pages on your website. Hopefully, they find most of them if they're linked together and there's connections from one page to another. That's that's how they find these uh, these pages. And if they have the uh, the pages all linked and you've got the pages constructed in a manner that the Google likes, uh, then you'll rank high. When you look at this, you see the snapshot that Google has of the, of the site at the present time. Uh, if we look at this, for example, credit application, uh, there's some gibberish in here, small animal clinic starter site. I know that this is a vestige from the from olden times well, you know, years ago when we had information in this field that didn't really make, uh, it didn't really make sense. We didn't really use it. Google didn't use it that much. Um, and so we can change this. So uh, in order to change it, we can go to edit menu. And here is the description. This is where that information is. Uh, oh, thank you. Give me a second. Let me uh, try something else. How about that? I'm so sorry about that. Oh, that's not it either, I don't think. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so let's go back to the site here. Um, again, we've got this, uh, this site here. And, it, and it's got some weird content. Let me open this in another tab. Can you see both the windows here? Okay, so if you go into your site and you click edit menu, easiest way to do this is if you've got two monitors or, um, are you seeing the Google page? Let's see what page this is showing right now. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so 
let me uh, let me back up a little bit before I, I go too far. Can you see both the screens here? So here's the so again site colon and then your domain name will show people you know what's showing up. And um, if you go to your site, you can actually change this black writing that's in here uh, to kind of match things better. And you can also fix this this page here this this line this blue text it's called the title page um, and I'll show you how to do it here you go to edit menu uh, for example here's this credit application if you notice here is the title right here Here is what's called the page slug, which is this green part right here. See that? That matches this right here. And then this description matches the text that's down here. Now, the best thing to do is to have the content actually be, a, a, you know, the, the best case scenario is that this description matches content on the page. So uh, if we go there now, we see it, it's pretty it's pretty straightforward, right? I and mean, we could probably use all of this text on here. And and you'll notice also that we've got a little deal here where it's got like some characters that are remaining. And so we we figured out well here's you know the amount that'll fit in there, and we want to make sure that that it. It fits within those parameters because otherwise it gets cut off. Uh, so, for example, on this one for services, notice that after companions, you get the ellipses. You just want a short description of what's on that page. And, and like I said, we can, you know, I, I'm just showing you this, not saying you can jump out and, and do them all. We, of course, can, can work through some of these on the phone and where we have that, that conversation. Um, but now we can fix this at the very least. And how this helps um, is you're going to see, you know, what is it that people are looking at. And so if you want to come up for Peoria, you can look and see, well, look, it's, it's coming up on most of these titles. So that's great. You know, that's great. But let's make sure that all the pages have them. Uh, maybe there's one that doesn't. Look, here's one. Find feedback. This one doesn't have it. How are we doing? Uh, this is a golden opportunity to have, um, yeah, so see it just says client feedback. Ideally, the title page, the title element, this one right here, this field should have um, what the page is about, the name of the practice, and where you folks are located. So it should be like this. This is a good way, this is a good rule of thumb for your images as well. Uh, so this is one thing that we can do. Uh, the other thing you can do, and, and you may have done this already, it looks like some of these already have them, is to add text. So you notice how if we hover over, we've got this picture here of Dr. Dawson. It says Mount Holly Animal Clinic in Peoria, Illinois. So this is fantastic because then, you know, that's going to show up. Uh, if we do a search, not everybody goes this way. Here's some pictures from different ones. Hey, look at this. This lady looks familiar. So you see how putting that text near the image will help out. Um, this is very useful, especially, uh, and I don't know if you have this, but um, maybe if you do boarding. A lot of people search this way, and um, you know this this looks fun. So here's some some folks that have it. You know you're liable to click on that and then continue on to their website. Now, these aren't our clients, but this is exactly the stuff that, that I would recommend people do. 
pictures of the critters having fun. You know, you don't want to see cages. Um, but they've tagged the images so that it comes out for that information. Uh, everybody does searches different. I mean, some people do searches via the images, and then they go to the website. So maybe they'll click on something like this, and then they'll go that way. There's lots of different ways to get to the same location. So it looks like uh, you folks have already done that on this, so I'm not going to harp on it too much. Uh, you know, obviously there's, there's, there's places where you can add it. So like here's a picture. And, and, and let me slow down for just a second. And so if I'm, I'm logged in already, if I click edit content, and I want to add the image tags, I just double click. And all I'm doing is I'm cutting and pasting from right here. You, you could do something else. You could do, uh, you know. really, that's the order it should be. People read left to right. So here, veterinary service, Mount Howley Animal Clinic. So that'll help. Uh, you make these small changes, and again, there's these little incremental changes that over time contribute to make a big change because then we've got Peoria in there one more time. Uh, when there's, there are dozens of, you know, when Google ranks a site, there's, um, there's, there's tons of what are called ranking signals. Uh, and let me go ahead and just show you a couple of them. Um, and again, we'll go to Moz. These are some fantastic things. So on page, keywords and titles, uh, citations, links, um, citations, uh, you know, all these different things are, are you know, things that will improve your, your search. Now, these are a lot of different, these, these are some real under the hood type stuff. Um, I can tell you also that there are other simple ones, like for example, Domain age. Now, people, you know, Matt Cutts is this guy from Google. He's one of the, the top guys. I can tell you that they do that. This does count for something. Um, it's they they say, well, it's not very important, but I've seen it come in and, and be a deciding factor. So, let's say you've had the website for several years. You know, I, I, I know that you folks have because I've I've I've, I've I've been talking to people from the practices for for quite a bit. Uh, since Marv was part of the team and everything. So having a little bit of tenure, that helps out. Uh, keywords in the domain itself. So does the website say something? Animal clinic, yeah. So that's that's fantastic. It tells people exactly what it's for. Uh, the keyword in the domain, um, uh, subdomains. So like, uh, you know, if you've got services right here. So here's the services. This is the subdomain. Here is the whole domain. And so that counts. There's a whole bunch of different things here. Keywords in the title tag. You know, we were just talking about those. The title tag starts with a keyword. Description tags. There's a whole bunch of different ones here. I'll, I'll go ahead and put them here just so you can take a, a quick link at them. But uh, again, the, the, the main thing is to not, not worry that there's any one magic bullet that'll just shoot you to the top, nor is there one that's going to penalize you enough that it's going to make you sink to the bottom. Google has figured out that there's, you know, uh, by, by using all these different algorithms, all the, the, the amount of times that a search term appears and things like that, uh, they can get a pretty good assessment as to whether a website has useful original content um, and things that'll really help people out. Uh, do you have any questions? I know I've kind of Plug through for quite a bit there, so I just wanted to take a take a breather just to see. Okay, so the other part I wanted to share is to talk about how Google actually grabs this information. Uh, you may have heard of Google Analytics and Google Webmaster Tools. These are um, programs that track how well your site is doing. Uh, I think we've got it on yours. Double check. All right. 
Uh, can you see the animal, the webmaster screen? You can see we've got quite a bit of them. So I'm just going to go through and try to find it. All right, here we are. So I found it. <clears throat> so here's the process uh, from, from how Google finds your content. So you build a site, you put stuff on it, you follow our tips, you add tags, you talk about the different locations that you service, you talk about the things that you do. Uh, hopefully you customize it a little bit. You talk about the practice. Uh, hopefully you, yeah, this is great. I like, I like this sort of stuff here. Anything you can do to change this content, because this is a lot of this is just real stock stuff. So even if you change it up a little bit, it'll pay a huge dividend. One of the things that Google doesn't like to see is content that's repeated, um, you know, from one site to another. And, and we um, we try to give folks a starting point by putting in this text. But really, if you can go in and change it, you know, really put in stuff that really reflects your practice, your individual. Um, veterinary practice that will really help out so this is fantastic stuff here you're talking about their ties to the community all sorts of different things like that you know again excellent excellent stuff so when you do this what what then happens is Google will come by and they will do a crawl uh, and what a crawl is is kind of like uh, a census or an inventory if you've ever worked retail you you've done this before where you Go through, you check out the stock, see how many SKUs you have, um, you know, kind of just get a big feel for how many products are there. When Google does this, uh, this is the result. And hopefully they found all the different pages on your site. Um, and, and you can actually see the last time that they visited. They'll, on their own, their programs will come by and visit your website. So if you go here to this little it's this little green, it looks like a triangle. If you click on that, we see that Google came by about a month ago, February 20th. So if there's any changes to this site, they wouldn't know about it. Uh, in the old days, what people would say is, oh, you've got to update your site. You know, um, you know Google likes it when you update your site. Well. There's yes and no. The reason that Google likes having the site be updated is because then it would know, so it would trigger an algorithm to come by and visit more often. It's kind of like the uh, greasy wheel, right? Uh, so a kid keeps raising his hand in class, yeah, the teacher's going to call on him. He keeps raising his hand, he keeps raising his hand. There's another kid just plugging away, doing his work. You know, she's not going to visit him. Um, and so, but now you don't have to do that because now we have Google Webmaster Tools and we can actually tell Google, hey, come by. We need you guys to come by. Uh, you know, let's say we updated a page. We can, we can literally tell them, come by, take a look at it, and, and we're done. Uh, what was one page that we were doing? Credit application, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Google visit this page again because I don't like this title and we changed it and you don't have to remember this we've got it installed here for you uh, I just want to show you the process so that you have an idea of how this works so I'm gonna you know since I've verified the page already I, I can I can tell Google hey come by come, come check it out if the page has been updated there's new content there's new content you know come check it out and so if, so if you ever do a big upgrade to the site, uh, we do offer makeovers, just, uh, just for everyone that's listening to this. Uh, we offer free makeovers. We do help with logos. There's no additional charge for these sorts of things. We love to give people a new look and feel. Uh, we'd be glad to help you with, with this site and any other website that you may have. But when we do that, uh, <coughs> this is part of it. 
we're going to go ahead and request that the page be indexed. Uh, we're going to also give Google a, a, a sitemap. A sitemap is kind of like a, um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a map of, of all the different pages that are on a website. And so we've got 18 pages working hard for you. Uh, Google may have indexed every single one of them, but we're going to resubmit it anyways just so that they know. So that's, that's how it works. Uh, Google finds your website. Uh, it looks at the links. If there's any changes, um, it'll reflect them eventually over time. But you can definitely speed the process up with Google Analytics and Google Webmaster Tools. You can definitely force the issue and not just wait for them to come along. Uh, you know, if you, how, how it works is, you know, Google comes by, it looks at a page, and so here's one, April 7th. So that's a little, you know, it's a couple of weeks ago. So let's say nothing has been changed on here. Google will, Google will say, well, hey, when was the last time you came here? Oh, it was, it was like three weeks ago. All right, well, we'll check back in in three weeks. Uh, let's say they change, and then let's say you change something on the website. They come by three weeks later and they'll say, hey, they changed something. All right, then we need to check back sooner. Let's come back a week from now. They come back, another change. Wow, okay, we need to come back even sooner. Let's come back the next day. And so then they start to update. This is why if you do, like, for example, um, you do a search for the New York Times, it's almost in real time because there's stuff changing constantly, right? So here's your different pages. And these are actually what they're called the verticals, right? So these are the different you know, sub pages and everything like that. But they've, uh, I mean, it doesn't even give us a time because they're there every day. Every day they're being crawled because you know there's there's stuff that's that's being updated hourly, uh, you know, sometimes by the minute. And so there are certain pages that Google is like just constantly crawling to check for updates, so that then they can go ahead and have uh, news about, like for example, that that absolute hero that landed that plane yesterday with one engine, right? So this uh, this woman is a, <laughs> you know, if we go ahead and you do this. There's, they know right off the bat, Google is just giving you all the things about this lady uh, who, if you haven't checked out the story, you should, you really should. It's absolutely fantastic history with her. And, uh, and, and you know, all this stuff is crawled almost in real time. An hour ago, 21 minutes ago, two hours ago, Google is pulling it quickly. Now we're not, our, our, this site is not a site that has breaking news or anything like that. You're just delivering information about the practice so that people in, in Peoria and nearby can, can come by and get care for their features. So um, you can make things easy for, for them by uh, just having, telling people what you do and where you do it. And there are things that you can fine tune. On the site itself, I'm not seeing that there's that many places where we really need to go in and change like the titles and stuff like that. Um, I think that like, yeah, if we have a conversation again, we'll do it one on one. What I probably like to do is, is to do delve more into the listing. Uh, but still, it's it's nice to get an idea. And uh, something else, and this is has a little bit to do with SEO, but 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 this is kind of a consumer tip. So if you ever are looking for something um, on a website, you know the website name, but you can't remember on which page it was. You can use this to help. So, oh, where was I? This guy he really helped me out. He's really nice. Let's let's look at it. You you type in site colon the domain name, and then you put in your search term. This is only going to find the content on the page with that word, and it's only going to search on this page. So this is great if you're shopping. Um, you know, so here's, here's a place where I can find the stuff and it tells you right there, 
this is only you know dedicated to, to, to for example nike.com i mean you, you can do this for just about any website um unless there's some sort of you know paid thing or something uh, and, and and it's very useful if you're looking for something and you can't remember where the, the that page is this is going to search google's uh cache of that particular site and and find all those things So here you go. Here's some shoes. I'm like, this is some of these ridiculous. Uh, and but you know, you can find it in anything you want. Site colon the domain name, and then what you're looking for, and then you don't even have to worry about going to another page. So so hopefully that's it. If, if nothing else, you get a little bit of help with uh, with that. Um, okay. So that said, we've talked a little bit, bit about how Google finds your content. We've, we've talked about how we can modify it. Um, next, we're gonna, I want to talk a little bit about the content because I, I touched on this earlier, and, um, and I really want to make it apparent that you know why it's important. So uh, if we go to about us, let me just cut this phrase here. Okay. I can tell, so let's look at who these guys are. These guys are in Santa Rosa. Hey, look at this. This looks really familiar. Well-established, full service. So these folks did the same thing. They used the content that's on there, and you're still ranking high. I mean, the, you know, the, 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 the site has good content, a nice website you know they've got this content but we really want to go ahead and have it be as original as possible and and so even if So even if you do something like that, that'll change it. You know, you want it to be little changes like that. Just let's just make it as be as a, you know. Just think of this this text that we've got in there as a framework for you. Um, I always like to use the house analogy. You you, you know you buy a house and eventually it becomes your home. Uh, when when my wife and I bought our first home a couple of years ago, uh, I had no idea uh, that we could there could be so many options for for paint and for, for trim and for, for everything and became quite a big uh, uh, customer of uh, both Home Depot and Lowe's. And, but, but the basic structure of the home is the same. Um, you've got floorboards, you've got support beams, you've got drywall, and um, you know, the house across the street for me, same thing. They've got some, there's, there's some basic stuff that's in there, but then you can always add things like this, which are your own personal touch to it, to make the site really stand out. And, and that's the thing, is you want it to have your own reflection. Uh, you, you want it to uh, really kind of tell people you know, what you are. Even, even like on a picture like this, which I like these two guys, I think they're great. She, the cat looks annoyed, and the guy looks happy. You know, if, if you can put in a picture of the practice, you know, that, that'll, that's fantastic. Um, if you have any old pictures, you know, talking about the history of it. Um, I, I talked to, uh, well, there's, there's several of our clients, especially on the East Coast, that are in buildings with fantastic histories. You know, they've been around for a while. Um, one, there's, a, there's one vet that I know that their, uh, their building used to be like a firehouse or something. And, and, and they talk about that. They've got pictures of it when it was in its you know, former state. Things like that are really great. It, and, and you've talked about it here, uh, which is which is was just already you know I don't want to make it seem like we're picking at you. We just want to we want to give you the the things to really make it stand out. 
uh, and those are the things that will help out because there's all these little things uh, that help you, you know, contribute to that that overall thing. What was it again? If I do this, okay. So see, we're on the home page, and we're going to have to go against Peoria Pet Vet. That's going to be a tough one. They've got the name Peoria right there in their in their domain name, but it can be done. You just need to really, um, you know, adjust a couple of things, and that will help out. Okay, I've still got a little bit of time, so I'm going to talk about the map stuff because I haven't touched on this, and and, and I get a lot of questions about this. So your map listing is actually uh, its own unique creature. It, it, it's ranked differently than the organic results down here. Uh, the map ranking has a lot to do with your location, the, the terms that you're using, and your location relative to city center. Uh, so in other words, uh, now I don't know where Peoria is exactly, but... So Mount Holly is way down here. Okay. So it looks like you're you're up here somewhere. There it is. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a little north. So where is Peoria proper? Uh, maybe it's more down in here. So how? So how Google looks at it is it looks at, at, at that city and then if there is something that's like in your case it's for it's further north then it'll rank it a little lower just because they're looking for something that's close by. So let, let me let me show you a another one. <laughs> so <laughs> here's where I am right now. So here's here's Davis, California. And uh, the, the star is where these offices are. Now see how we've got the Guadalajara as the first one? You know, there's a whole bunch of other places and notice that they change depending on your location. So it knows, Google knows, uh, that I'm in the north part of Davis, not down by the university over here. And also it's doing it by ranking. So take a look at this, 138 and, you know, great reviews, and, and this place is awesome. And and so that has a lot to do with it. What we can do, um, if you wanted to show up for one, if 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 Peoria, okay, yeah, I see it now. Thank you. So yeah, Peoria is down by the south. So these guys at Banfield have got a little bit of an advantage. Uh, because look, they've only got 16 reviews, 3.3 .3 average. Let's look at how it is. 23 reviews, 4.8. So sometimes the, the location deficit is a bit much. I don't want you to despair though. In addition to Peoria, you're also probably can, can help these folks in Mossville. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how big Kickapoo is. Uh, maybe there's another community near here, Dunlop, South Rome, uh, Mossville. Uh, again, I don't know how big those communities are. I don't know if there's other communities that are around here, but you can be number one for those as well. Does that make sense? You wanna, you want to. I mean, it's you know, obviously, yeah, Peoria is a big town. You wanna go ahead and, and aim for the folks down here. But you also want to be able to, you know, let people know that are nearby because that's a that's a that's a big uh, factor when somebody is, as you know, coming to visit. Someone's an old time client; they've been at the doctors there for a while. They'll make that distance. Um, you know, I'll give you an example. So, this is my doctor. Uh, Uh, no, not in Davis. Sacramento. This is my doctor. 
and now we live over here. So we'll make the distance, even though there is a VCA right literally next door to us, because we know them there. Plus, she's my client, so I get so if I <laughs> if I didn't go go see uh, go see you know the, the folks over here at uh, at Midtown Animal. Now, uh, what what I did for them is on their website. I told them, you know, here's where the clients are coming from. We put the location. So what you can do with the map is, uh, number one, you can get more reviews. Uh, reviews are a deciding factor. Uh, we can help put a, a link on your site so that people can go ahead and do the reviews. The other thing you can do is you can uh, put content on the site and just, just um, I don't want to say accept where you are, but just be cognizant of where you are and, and uh, put content on there uh, in that context. So, um, you know, where I am geographically, I'm in North Davis. You know, I can, you know, if I were to do a brick and mortar business here where I wasn't just talking to the phone, helping people, maybe I wanted to open up a, a stand of some sort, you know. Um, if, if I do that, then I will say them and help people in North Davis, South of Woodland, um, you know, perhaps even as far as Beach. So, because I know that area. Now, you, on the other hand, may want to go ahead and um, again appeal to the folks in these outlying communities. Uh, you know, again, these different places are going to help out. These these are places where you can reach out to them, and and I'm not saying we're going to give up on Peoria, I'm just saying let's also rope in the folks that are around here. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and, and, and again, as you can see, these reviews play a big part. If we scroll down lower, so let's take a look at this, Big Hollow Companion. Now why does that one only have maybe, oh they've got two listings. So see this, they've uh, they need to consolidate their listings. They've got a whole they've got one review here, no review here. Um, and as we keep going, eight reviews, no reviews. So this was like a double whammy. She's weighing the heck out here. Uh, and she doesn't have any reviews. So that's why she's uh, Ranking the way she is. Uh, Johnson Bill DVM no longer can I remove it? Um, yes and no. Uh, we we need to kind of coordinate to do something like that. Let me see. Where was it? Let me go back. Let me know if I pass it. All right, so see this, it looks like somebody at some point set up uh, separate identities for these. So yeah, on something like this, is this the address where you're at? The 816 West Pioneer Parkway? Okay, then what we would need to do, and uh, you know, I'm gonna make a video of this so whoever else is watching this, if you ever want to fix something like that, then what you need to do is go to google.com business. Now I happen to manage um, because my wife is a sweetheart. She told my priest to, that I can help them with their website. So I, I have uh, taken over management of, of the church here. And so what, what I can do uh, and I'll just show you here how, how this has worked so you can, you can kind of see. Um, you can go ahead and actually update information like uh, the hours, right? So here's the office hours, here's the website, um, different things like that. I mean, it's not a business, but you can go ahead and, you know, we still have to do a business for it. 
Uh, and so you can go in and if, uh, if you, once you go to business, you can set up an account. And if you need to, um, let me go ahead back to it. You can manage locations. Uh, so let's say you wanted to add a location here, then what you would do is you would type in, in this case, and, and I'll do it just so that we can, just to show you. So Johnsonville BBM. I would do something like this. And then you would continue on. Now I'm not going to do it because Number one, I'm not at that location. And number two, um, I don't have access to that phone number. One of the parts in this verification is that you're going to create a profile, you're gonna verify it, and then you're gonna delete it. So you're gonna, so there's a little bit of managing that you're gonna do. You're gonna create these, these uh, entities just to verify that they're there, and then you're gonna remove the duplicate so that you're left with only one. Does that make sense? You you wanna you wanna go ahead and kind of wrangle them first before you can do that, um, and so um, and, and I mean you can also get in there, and if there's something where you have to like you know move this little dot thingy around, maybe it needs to go to the front because there's a fence back here or something, you can do that. It's it's really very useful. It's a very handy tool, um, and uh, right now you can see me and and, and my kid on here, but uh, really. Uh, you, you'd want to use like the business account one that's maybe kind of a generic one for the practice. Um, you don't necessarily need to have a Gmail account. You just need to have a Google account in order to go in. And, and we could set up some time to go in together and, and, and do that. And I'd be glad to help you uh, get those taken care of. Uh, let me see. Do I have any websites to link to this? Yeah, so here's here's one. Here's where we're located, right? The picture of our office and everything. Um, so it's kind of nice. Uh, we can go ahead and I've only got the one location here, uh, but again, you know, this is what we do. And you can add descriptions, add different things on there. Um, all that sort of business. So yeah, if you've got a Google account, you you know I can. If you wanted to, you can just go ahead and, and go again business.google.com or google.com/business. Either one, um, and and then look for those duplicate accounts because when you find them, um, I, I think what happened years ago. Let me let me go back to the map listings here for. I think what happened years ago is that there's some SEO guys going around telling people to put in their names. You know, if um, if if it's a one doctor practice, uh, it's a, you know whether it's a brick and mortar or it's a house call or whatever, then that's that's fine. But whenever you have multiple doctors, that's not a good idea. You want to have the branding reflect the name of the practice itself: Mount Holly, Eastside Animal, Prospect Animal, whatever. When you have just the one, um, I mean, that, that can change, right? Obviously, as you know, people can, can take off. So here's one right here, Marie Baker. And there, there may be even more on there. Um, Where is my showing up now? There's another lady, Katie Clark. So, all right. Uh, do you have any other questions for me this morning? I know we've covered quite a bit of things here. 
All right, I'd like to end. Uh, whoa, what the heck? <laughs> okay, here, let me, let me do this. This is a little better. Okay, well, thank you for uh, attending today. Um, and if anyone else watching the subsequent video, I'd like to uh, invite you to uh, follow us on social media. We do do updates here. Uh, Instagram.com slash event sites. Facebook.com slash event sites. And I think we're even on uh, with, uh, yeah, I think we're on Twitter too. So Twitter.com slash event sites. So on all of these uh, platforms, you can get a hold of us. Uh, we'll, you know, we'd love to keep in touch with everyone and give people updates. Uh, if you request of the stuff that's going on with us. Uh, and if we can help in any way, let us know. And we'll be glad to help you. All right, thank you all for coming. Uh, have a great day and uh, we hope to hear from you soon.